Judiciary Committee Bob Goodlatte says a subpoena could soon be issued for the Trump-hating FBI agent Peter Strzok. Chairman Goodlatte joins us right now to explain. Mr. Chairman, to me, there are more questions than there are answers, number one. And number two, in spite of Strzok's lawyer saying, oh, yeah, we're going to willingly come before the committee, I don't believe that for 10 seconds. Let's see it before I'll believe it. Uh, are you asking me that? Yes, sir. Uh, well, because uh, absolutely he's got to appear before the committee. Uh, we believe we have an agreement for him to appear next week. Uh, it's important that he appear for an interview, and then we'll have a public hearing uh, after that. Uh, and we are prepared to issue a subpoena for anything that's necessary to do. But uh, if he appears voluntarily, we're good. But if he reneges, uh, he'll see a subpoena immediately. Uh, sir, let me ask you, because there was a meeting last Friday. I understand you were in that meeting, along with Devin Nunes and Trey Gowdy and Speaker Ryan and Rod Rosenstein. And you were promised documents, uh, according to published reports, sir. And those documents that you have been subpoenaing and requesting, and Trey Gowdy has been, and, and Devin Nunes has, they promised them this week, or you guys promised, that you will, in fact, hold them in contempt and perhaps issue articles of impeachment as it relates to Rod Rosenstein for their obstruction and unwillingness to abide by congressional subpoenas. And why do I think if I did it, I don't think I'd get away with it? I don't think anybody should get away with it. Uh, I also believe that we have, thanks to John Losh, the U.S. attorney from Chicago, we have a much better situation. We have now access to over a million documents in a room at the Department of Justice that we can see unredacted, and then we can point to individual documents and uh, demand that they be produced. But there are other things in that subpoena where we specifically asked for. Some have been complied with, some not. Uh, and the speaker made it very clear that if they didn't produce them this week, uh, that they would face the resolution which has already been introduced. All right. Well, Mr. Goodlatte, I want to thank you for what you're doing. And if we don't get those documents, I hope you hold them accountable. And I believe you will. I know you meant what you said. Um, joining us with more, Ohio Congressman, Freedom Caucus member Jim Jordan. Congressman Jordan, um, I don't see the, the documents presented. And we now have all the evidence we need. Hillary, it's irrefutable, committed felonies. Lead investigator struck, exonerated her long before he ever interviewed her or the witnesses, um, which means the fix was in. And then they tried to smash and destroy Donald Trump, the other candidate. And I can't think of a worse abuse of power or corruption scandal in American history. Maybe you can help yep. me out. No, no, you're right. The same six people, the key people who ran the Clinton investigation, then ran the Russian investigation. Think about this, Sean. Jim Comey's been fired. Deputy Director McCabe has been fired. Faces, faces a criminal referral, lied three times under, under oath. Chief of Staff Jim Rubicki has left the FBI. General Counsel Jim Baker demoted and has now left the FBI. Lisa Page, FBI counsel, demoted, now left the FBI. And, of course, Peter Strzok. Deputy Head of Counterintelligence demoted and a couple days ago escorted from the FBI. So when, when have you ever seen a federal agency where six of the top pe people ran the two most important investigations I've ever heard of? When have you ever seen that happen? So, yes, Mr. Goodlatte's exactly right. If they don't give us the documents, we are going to pass a resolution on the House floor. The Speaker's been clear about How this. How soon? The It'll happen next week if they don't do it. It will. Ha the speaker has been clear. They will. We will pass that, and the whole house will go on record saying, "Mr. Rosenstein, give us what we're entitled to have to get answers for the American people." And then, if he still doesn't do that, then it's contempt. And then, finally, the ultimate leverage we have, an ultimate pressure we have, and you're is telling the, the American articles. people tonight, you will do all of this. This is not a game. This is this is if Jim Jordan give giving us his word. Well, this is, but it's the Speaker of the House. This is Devin Nunes. This is Chairman Goodlatte. These are the, the, the people in the House who say, I agree. we have They're, a right I, to get that. And the full House will, the, the resolution has been filed by Mr. Meadows and I and several others. Mr. Meadows filed right, it last let me ask week. You this. That's what has to happen first. So apparently there was a little bit of a showdown and then on Capitol Hill on the floor today uh, between Mark Meadows um, and who's the chairman of the Freedom Caucus and Speaker Ryan. And apparently it was about the talking points that are being fed to the president and the American people about immigration don't match up with the bill. Are we being lied to and misled again by Republicans? I, Sean, I wasn't a part of that. Normally, I would be a part of that conversation with Mark. I wasn't on the floor this time. Mark and the speaker Have had a conversation. Have you seen the bill? Do they match the talking points, which is what this is about? Here's, I haven't had a chance to fully review the bill yet. That's both bills that are going to be on the floor tomorrow. 
But what I do know is Goodlatte, Chairman Goodlatte's first piece of legislation is the one that is consistent with the mandate of the 2016 election, more importantly, consistent with what we told the American people we were going to do, because it does all the good borders, builds the wall, stops the, stops the chain migration, wait, wait, the stops most the visa, thing. all those good things. Okay, the most important thing is the money for the wall up front, all of it. It has to be. It has to be in both bills, but the, the first bill is the one I think is the best bill. That's one I'm supporting. All right. Uh, by the way, uh, I know you were a wrestler, what, in college? You only lost one match all your life? No, I lost only more one? than that in college. I lost more than that in college. High school. High that was school, a long you lost time ago, one so match. I, and I, well, listen, I've, I've got my second degree brown belt, mixed martial arts. I don't think I'm messing with you. Wrestlers <laughs> are tough. I wouldn't mess with you. Thanks, Sean. All right. Thank you, Congressman. When we come back, more highlights of the president's incredible rally tonight. So much energy in that room. Sarah Carter, David Schoen. We got a lot of people legally in jeopardy. This has only just begun, actually, straight ahead. With Peter Strzok and his lover, Lisa Page. I don't think their wife and husband are too happy about that. What do you think? What do you think? I don't think so. No, but have you been seeing this whole scam? Have you been, do you believe what you're seeing? How, no matter what she did, no matter how many crimes she committed, which were numerous, they wanted her to be innocent. With me, nothing. No collusion, no nothing. And they just wanted to take all of us. They wanted to put us in trouble. And it's not working too well, I'll tell you. <laughs> Disgusting. The president earlier tonight talking about the IG report. Joining us now with reaction, <clears throat> Fox News contributor Sarah Carter, civil rights and criminal defense attorney David Schoen. Um, all right. This is only the tip of the iceberg. You just heard from Jim Jordan, Bob Goodlatte. We know this war is going on behind the scenes, Sarah. And we also know that there are going to ultimately be not only criminal inferrals, but if there's justice in America, there's going to be indictments of some of the highest level people in the FBI. I think that's really significant, Sean, because uh, this is like the first time in American history, in modern American history, where we've seen this. Uh, one of the important things that I think developed this past week is what Mark Meadows uh, disclosed was the fact that there's a possibility that the 302s, which we mentioned before on your show, those are the interviews that Peter Strzok conducted with uh, General Mike Flynn or other witnesses in this case. Now, Meadows didn't specifically talk about Flynn's case in particular, but that 302s may have been altered both in the Clinton investigation and in uh, the uh, Trump investigation. So if that turns out to be the case, that is an extraordinary violation, and it could be a Giglio violation, which, uh, if, if that's the case, I mean, if it's in Flynn's case, it could mean that the judge could throw the case right out. Mm -hmm. Pretty amazing. Let, let's go to the legal criminal side of this, uh, David Schoen. Uh, I don't think I'd want to be any of these people at this particular point in time, but a big caveat here, if there's equal justice under the law, and by the way, that would also mean that Hillary would also be charged with felonies even today. That's right. And, and of course, it, it is a big if, unfortunately, but let's hope justice prevails. Let's not make the mistake, though, of marginalizing Strzok and these others. What the inspector general identified is an entire culture of corruption and bias. They're bad apples, but it's not a question of a few bad apples. Let's be forward thinking and not reactive, because what we know for sure is Mr. Mueller handpicked a committee to make up his special counsel team that has the exact same agenda. We should demand the emails, especially those who are former Justice Department employees like Mr. Weissman and others, demand their emails. I would imagine we would see some things similar to what Mr. Strzok, Ms. Page, Agent 2, Agent 5, Mr. McCabe wrote and spoke oh, about. Stop how Trump could, agenda. Is this illegitimate the entire, since the get-go is literally the fix in for Hillary, rigged an investigation, and then immediately the same people start the sledgehammer on Donald Trump to destroy him. Does that render everything right. Mueller's doing illeg Ill Ill illegitimate or question the legitimacy of it? And if you're an attorney for Absolutely. any of these guys, do you not go to a judge and say, Judge, this is predicated on a prejudice that existed from the get-go, therefore none of this should be admissible? 
Absolutely. The United States Supreme Court in Kyles versus Whitley said the integrity of the investigation is always at issue and must always be at issue in a case. The investigation is what informs a prosecutor's decision and ultimately the discretion. But again, we know that these same people have that same agenda. There's just no question about it. Yeah. Let me go to Sarah. Sarah, you have some breaking news as it relates to General Flynn and, and his story. Wow. Oh. Both they, nobody thought he lied, but yet he got charged what? for lying. Yeah, and he, and he pleaded guilty. I mean, he was strong-armed, according to the sources that I've spoken to. I mean, he lost millions of dollars trying to defend himself. He had to sell his lost home. Lost his home, by the his way. Yeah, he lost his home. His family was threatened. So there was a lot of reasons why General Flynn would just want this over with. And it was such a flimsy charge because, according to Comey himself, behind closed doors, the agents didn't believe that he was lying. But then you have to ask yourself this. Peter Strzok was one of those agents that interviewed Flynn. Peter Strzok is still up and hopefully will be subpoenaed and hopefully will speak to Congress. But he was already tainted. When he went into that interview, he wanted to take people down in the Trump administration in the Trump administration and so I believe that everything that he touched was tainted and I don't know what his attorneys are going to do but certainly something is going to come of this all right guys thank you both the for being IG with us. said there's a huge it. cloud yeah. thank you we'll never give up on the story and I'm telling you now the real hard work of justice begins that's the interesting part of all this when we